Hello guys, welcome back to Right Way Gaming. I've not been on the server for a few days, uh, just just being busy. And well, we've had something happen because the greenhouses have vanished. But literally only the glass plates. And I'm going to be honest with you, I've no idea how it happened. Um, I think it might have been something to do with the dip getting attacked because it was stood here so I think it swung its tail and damaged it but I'm just a bit confused as nothing has damage to it so yeah I am utterly puzzled on that one I mean I did do the update on the server recently so unless it just didn't save after we did it, I don't know. But then, I don't know. I'm honestly puzzled as to what's happened there. Um, but yeah, I think it's the day. Um, all I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to finish off building the greenhouse uh, while talking to you. Uh, so greenhouse walls there, so I get them done. Da, 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 da. ceilings as well but I'll do them after uh, but yeah I'm just going to talk to you about what my plans are for the upcoming episodes or at least what I hope I'm going to get done anyway and I've just noticed there's no door on that um, so basically the plans are to basically start getting a dino farm sorted because at the moment the kibble's coming along slowly and I don't want it to be, I want it to be produced pretty damn quick so the only way to do that is to make sure we get more female dinos of each rare species, whatever you want to call it. So, in order to have room for that, we need somewhere to put them. Now, my thinking behind it is to put... The dino garage pen, whatever you want to call it. To the right of the greenhouse because there's no foliage over there, or well, less foliage, but more over to the left. And I want to keep it over there so we've got a, a local access to berries. Um, right now, we need to go and get the wall roofs. Is it roofs? And not only that, but I'm going to need another door where and another door. have I got? I don't think I have so I'm going to have to make it structures, greenhouse door frame and apparently I don't have enough metal um, metal dink, 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 dink there we go. I'm going to have to keep an eye on it because if it does fall apart again, then there's something definitely wrong. Frame, use, and I want it there. Do I use, I want it there. I'll use there. So now we're getting the roof structures placed. Between us, if, if there's anything that I'm forgetting about that I might not know about with the glass house, greenhouse, greenhouse, um, let me know because I'm not an expert with them. So there might be something that I'm doing wrong which is actually causing the thing to fall apart. 
I, I'm not saying it's unlikely, I'm saying it's very likely. Is that all of them? Yeah, that was it. Um, obviously I'm missing the plots as well, which is a bit annoying. Do I have to make another door? Oh, I do. That's perfect. I'm going to use it to put on the front of it. Crap. Uh, I don't need any of them. Or them. It's very dark. Very dark indeed. Oh, boom. That's nice. Been annoyed about that bit. But oh well. There's the yellow drop over there. I'm going to go and get that. So anyway, back on to the plants for the server. So once I've got like a base where we start storing the dinos, I'm going to look at finding a stego because we need that to tame a high level RG so it don't take us too long. Um, the reason I want a high level RG is because I want to train it in pure movement speed and it still have a, f a bit of a survivability factor so that we can use our scorpion to go and tame a quetz because I'm really craving a quetz right now if it could be high level perfect, if not it's not the end of the world what have we got here, we've got bullets, flashlights and a blueprint for flashlights You know what I've not seen for a while? Is an alpha of any sort. Gotta be honest with you, I've got hair fever, so if you hear me sneezing, that's why. I need a bit of food. So, the plan is now is to start getting the base built like I said um, I would start building it upwards but we don't need to just yet because I'm going to like I said get building here get it up above the greenhouse and then I'm going to make a little runway back here just well a little hallway I should say and then I'm going to start building on top of this bit as well and then possibly have a behemoth gate at the side here with the ramps going down so that I can get dinosaurs up onto that second floor um, and obviously by having the hallway at the back here it doesn't cover the roof of the greenhouse which basically means that we keep the greenhouse effect so I'm going to go off and start getting the materials together for that and I'll see you then Alright, uh, just a quick update, um, I've actually just spent the last half an hour prepping this um, and I've even got myself a little... to the hell? Get lost. Level 20. Uh, you're not even worth it. You're gonna die. I love how we've got the numbers and all now, it's freaking awesome. There's an oviraptor. It's not my oviraptor, is it? No. But yeah, so I've made this little walkway here so we can still get to it. Um, so it runs along here. So I'm going to put like uh, basically the, the behemoth gate is probably going to go he here. Just so we've got the, still got the walkway. Um, so let's place that. I've made metal ones because I think they just look better. Um, probably gonna have to place it like so. Is that about right? I got one, two, three on one side, and one, two, three on the other. Let's just get a little bit that way, a little bit forward. So it's going to be roughly on 
Reckon in the. How's that look? Oh, Jason, I think you've pretty much nailed it. Hang on, where's the end of the first one? It's about. About here. So, yeah, the wall would pretty much just about. Yeah, I'm happy with that. That's it. Um, it's a good placement, Jason. Up to yet, anyway. Obviously, there might be. a few issues that arise. Watch me have got it the wrong way around. Nah. That's, uh pretty good to me that, that's pretty good to me yeah no, I'm pretty happy with that um, it's not exactly straight though I think it is, it's straight enough um, so now what I've got to do is build walls <laughs> which is uh, going to be interesting just gotta think how I'm gonna work it because like I said here is gonna be the elevation to the second floor onto there where I'm probably gonna put more dinos and then another behemoth gate at the other end and then on top of that I'll put, probably put like an aviary and then on top of that is where the forge is gonna go um, but that's um, obviously thinking a bit too far ahead let me just think about this but anyway I need to get the walls done and the ramps built so I'm going to start working on that and I'll bring you back when it's done right I've been absolutely grafting like hell and we've got the basis the floors and the walls, the doors, pretty much covered. I've made a gap there to put the doorway in so we can run straight through here. Um, yeah, that's good. Oh, I've got plenty of them too. Um, so I've got her here. Um, I'm probably going to look at getting a ramp put in around here somewhere as well, I might put it up along here so we can come up and get onto this floor. Uh, I'm going to put a behemoth gate here but um, I thought there might be a bit of an issue in terms of ramps but I don't think we will have, I think we'll be good to get ramps up on this side. Um, just going to put the roofs in, um, I'm sure that three high is enough to get most dinos in um, anything bigger than that will be going on the next floor, I'd imagine. Um, well, in fact, anything bigger can actually go in here because this one's actually five high just to balance it out. Um, just to not waste space, I'll probably put ramps up along the sides so we can actually put dinos on the higher levels as well. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get the roofs put in another dinosaur gate put in over there uh, and probably start moving the dinos in um, I might do that um, off air though just so that you don't have to watch it and then in the next episodes you, you can have a look forward to the dinosaurs all being moved in um, I'm probably going to have to get a egg collector and spread them out throughout the base but I'm going to wait and see because there might be enough of a radius off it to collect eggs. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to go and get the roofs installed and I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back and it's done. Uh, I've got a few minor changes to make um, in terms of uh, laying out the dinos um, and how I'm going to do it. But um, I can think about that and um, probably get it done for the next episode. But we've got a few minor flaws and interesting things. The 
dinosaur gateway <coughs> and basically intrudes on the main base. Um, but you know, I think it's a it's a different look. I mean, look, it looks all right, I suppose. It's not too much of an issue. Um, and if we go over here, if you look up top here, I've, it's like a a cross hatch look. And basically, what happened was, for some reason, one side of the ceiling was sticking to that wall uh, and the other side was sticking to this wall uh, so I basically could overlap two ceilings on the same spot and they kind of like went opposite to each other which created a cross hatch effect which I thought was interesting and it technically makes the ceilings a little bit bigger to cover the holes that were there as well which I was happy about because I thought they were going to end up being like really odd and um, there's a few more there but no, in the end it worked out quite well. But it made me think whether I could actually do it with the walls. But I've not tried it yet. Um, but yeah, we are pretty good now. Everything is good. I've got doorways going through to the fertilizer. Through to the main base. Got the egg collector here. Um, so now it's just a case of removing the dinosaurs in. And... Potentially, potentially, get rid of all this here out here because we don't need it no more. Um, but I may just leave it there anyway, but we'll see. Um, yeah, got that there. How are you doing, Pochas? How are you doing? You got a level? What you kill? Apparently, a few things. And I need water. Um, there is one last thing that I forgot to do um, and that's to build ramps up to this behemoth gate here but that won't take me too long and it's not too much of an issue so I'm going to leave it for now um, but yeah it's, uh, it's coming on pretty damn good I think um, by the time we get to the top of the behemoth gates um, we'll be pretty much ready to start building the forge but I've got to get to level 80 before that point 85 even for the forge Jesus beak is on the roof because I had to get up there to plant the roofs because they were too freaking tall get down here bloody muppet and on that note I'm going to leave you guys and I'm going to get all the dinosaurs moved in and I might even tame a few stragglers that are all female so we can put them in the base creating eggs for us so I'll see you next time don't forget to like, comment, sub and share to your heart's content guys that's me out <laughs>